You're too proud, Mr. Darcy. And would you consider pride a vice or a virtue? Mm, that I couldn't say. Because we're trying our best to find a fault in you. Maybe it's that I find it hard to forgive the follies and vices of others or their offences against me. My good opinion, once lost, is lost forever. Oh dear, I cannot tease you about that. What a shame, for I dearly love to laugh. Hello everyone. Hello again. Today we want to talk about our all-time favourite period films and series. And to be honest, I had a hard time picking my favourites because I have so, so many. And you said it was okay for you. Yes, because I've got clearly some, some, let's say, favourites. But let's start with this one because this is, we love this one. Yeah, and it's a very funny movie. So, so much. This one is, well, we, I mean, uh, it's probably quite old fashioned to show DVDs because yep. we don't really watch DVDs anymore, but we, years ago, we yep. started collecting. No, and it gives us the opportunity to show you the cover. So you, Absolutely, yeah. yes. But uh, what, what was I, what um, I wanted to say is that Years ago, we spent so much money on DVDs. Yes, and we had a <laughs> cupboard full of, and we have a cupboard full we of We still DVDs. have, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we just wanted to show you the cover so you get an idea, but yeah. you checked most of them are available on Netflix and Amazon? Yes, yes. Yeah. So if you don't have the DVDs or don't want to buy DVDs, I think it's easy to stream them. Yeah. And this one is Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's his, it's Shakespeare, one of Shakespeare's comedies and about love, deception, misunderstandings and has the most amazing cast, yes. right? Yes, yes. There, there is, you, there is um, Keanu Reeves, Emma Thompson, Kenneth Brenner, so many more. And this is like, I don't know from... Is it from the 90s yeah. something? Yes, it's 30 years old. But it's so, so good. No, it's a really good adaptation. It's set in, in Italy, so it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And, you know, we have to watch it again. It's been a while. Yeah. It's so, so good. No, and it's a really good thing to do now when you're in lockdown. Yeah, absolutely. So... If you haven't watched this and love things like that, you're going to enjoy that so, so much. Your turn. My favourite is this one. And that's, and that's a German title. The English title is Captain Horatio Hornblower. It was filmed in 1951, and it's a film based on the books of C.S. Forrester um, about a captain called Horatio Hornblower. And this film is really good because... It's got everything, uh, let's say, a Navy film has to have. Uh, <laughs> sea fights, love, exotic places. So it's really nice. And it's and when I was a kid, I could watch it then on, on, on TV. And it really, really inspired me. And it inspired me to read all the books. And uh, I loved it. Yeah, I have a question. Did you watch the film first before you... Read the books? Yes, I've, I, probably I saw the film when I was eight years old. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. And it was broadcast every, every year. You know, <laughs> and, uh, and we watched it over and over and over. And the next one? The next one is this one. Oh, I love that as well. Yeah. It's also about Captain Horatio Nohomblo. And this was filmed in the 90s. It's a box set. It contains... contains eight feature-length movies and it's really good because yeah. it tells the story of Horatio Hornblower from entering the Navy as a midshipman until he was, I think, commander of a ship. Yeah, and it's, oh no, it just ends before this film starts, so it's really good. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. yeah. And it stars the young, the young Ian Grafford. Yeah. And he's really, really good. Yeah. Really, really good. So Very I nice. recommend watching this. You can watch that every year. Yes. Really? Yes. yes. Yeah. 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 Well, my next one is um, Mr. Selfridge. This one is actually 
is already the season, the season two. Mr. Selfridge was on TV as well. And um, it's all about Harry Gordon Selfridge, founder of the department store in London. Yeah. Selfridge's. Yeah, it still exists. Uh, yeah, actually, well, I, I remember a time when whenever we visited London. We went into Selfridge's. We, we went into Selfridge's. But it's very, very nice. It's beautifully filmed. Nice costumes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Very can highly recommend it. You liked it as well. Yes, it's very inspiring. Yeah, absolutely nice. Because it tells how you can, how he manages his, uh, let's say, the, wa the store and everything, and it's really, really nice. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Yeah. And your turn again. What? Ah, yeah, my turn. Yeah. Ah, uh, this one. Mm hmm And it's uh, Agatha Christie's Poirot. Very good. Yeah. And this is the series uh, with David Suchet. Yeah. And I looked it up and it, the amazing thing is it was filmed over a time span of 20 years. Because mm -hmm. the first, se first series were filmed at the beginning of the 19th and the latest um, one were 2010 or 2013. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a really good series and shows a really, really... It's, uh, much detail, the stories are good, and all the stories in the series are really short stories of Agatha Christie or out of the books. Yeah. So it's pure Agatha Christie. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. I'd love to visit her house actually. Yeah. I Now I hope we can do that next year, Agatha yeah. Christie's house. Yeah. Would, Would be, be nice. nice. No. Yeah. And the film is really good because it shows all this art deco, the 20s and 30s of, of London, so it's really, really nice. Yeah. Well, mine, oh. well, that's a series. <laughs> I just finished. I think that was my third time of watch Downton Abbey. Um, you know, actually, we would, well, it was our plan to visit next weekend. Yeah. Next weekend. Yeah. And, well, we had to postpone, and now, hopefully, we could go next year we had to postpone by a whole year yeah but which... we were lucky because we could just let's say pick a date for next year so we don't not, did not have to buy any tickets anymore yeah so we know the exact date next year well it's still well i'm very sad i have to say because it was especially on my wish list for so so many years and now i'm like oh no yeah. but i mean I don't know. Nothing you can do. No. So, this is Downton Abbey is, well, the real, it's Highclere Castle, which is in the south of England, but the, this is the series. It's supposed to be in the Yorkshire, so it's a Yorkshire country estate set between 19, 1912 and 1926, yes, yes. something like that. It starts when the Titanic hit the iceberg. Exactly, yeah. And it's all about the aristocratic Crawley family. And it's very, very beautiful. Maggie Smith is, I have to say, my favourite in there. She's amazing and very worth watching. Yeah. And, yeah, I can... I mean, I was sad when I, I think I, st I stopped this week and I was like, oh no, now I'm thinking about getting the film. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we watched I'll it see. two months ago. So yeah. so that's very, very nice. If you haven't watched that, please do. You will enjoy that so much. Yeah. Your turn again. My turn. Ah, yeah. I'm going to do this one. And it's Jeeves and Wooster. And it's with you, Laurie, and Stephen Fry. Two comedians I really, really love. Me too. Yeah, because they're really good. Uh, and I think everybody knows you, Laurie, uh, from the House series. Um, but here, that's his, a younger version of him. <laughs> yeah, because it's filmed in the 90s. But it's really good. And it's just funny and witty. And yeah, you will just love it. Yeah. yeah. It's just easy to watch. And can you say um, 
it, Stephen Fry in it is the he's the servant, correct? Yes, it's about uh, let's say upper class guy and his servant. So yeah. Hugh Laurie plays the upper class guy, who's I think Bertie Wooster, and Stephen Fry is his uh, servant or valet, as it called as it's called at that time, valet, who is intelligent and who always helps his master when he's doing his schemes and plans, and then they all fought, fa fail, and he <laughs> always helps him and always rescues him. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. And my next one is the BBC Jane Austen adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. I mean, we love the one with Kira Knightley as well, but this yeah. one I don't know, this one is our all-time favourite and it's all about the turbulent relationship between Elizabeth Bennet, who is the daughter of a um, country gentleman, and Fitzwilliam Darcy, the yeah. rich aristocratic landowner, and it's beautiful. This is um, the cast, it's uh, Colin Firth, and Jennifer Ely, who actually, before I forget, some of you uh, make me aware that Jennifer Ely is currently reading Pride and Prejudice on YouTube. So she has a small YouTube channel and you might want to check that out because she's reading the book chapter by chapter, which is very nice. I had a look yesterday and this adaptation is just beautiful. We've watched it, I think, three times and it never gets old. No, it's really good. And you know, Pemberley. Yeah. So Fitzwilliam's, well, house. Yeah. House is um, filmed in Lime Park. Yeah. Which is only an hour drive from here. And we've been three or four times. Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's a beautiful country house and... Yeah. And yeah, really worth watching. Yeah, it's really worth watching. Yeah. Do you have another one? Uh, yeah, my last one. And it's, again, probably <laughs> about a hero. Um, it's called Sharp. And it's based on the books of, I think, Bernard Crumble. Okay. And um, it features Sean Ben in the role as First Sergeant Sharp and later on Lieutenant Colonel Sharp and it's also based on tells the story of a soldier during the wars against Napoleon and it starts uh, with Wellington's let's say wars on the Spanish Peninsula and ends at Waterloo and uh, I think they also did two films which yeah 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 which uh, play which which are uh, were done in India which show a few, uh, which are both and all of them are worth looking. Now I was just um, mm. thinking, we have the films as well, right? Yes, yes, we do. Yeah, we yeah, do. we do. Mm -hmm. It's a well done film. We haven't and, watched and the box. We we haven't watched that in a while. No, no. So is that from the nineties as well? Uh, it also it's been done in the nineties, mm -hmm. and I think the last series was done also two thousand ten or two thousand twelve. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. But the original series was done, I think, in 1990 to 1993. Okay. And I think it started the career of Sean Ben. Yes, yeah. Which is really good and which really, I love him in this film. In and, this series. and we have, uh, last year when my parents visited, yep. we went to, is it Durham Park? Durham Park, Durham yes. Park, um, is it still Wiltshire? I think that's... I don't know. I'm not sure. I think Wiltshire. And that it was the first time we went inside the house. Yeah. And you spotted the rifle. Yes, because uh, because Sean, the, the guy who he plays, is a sharpshooter. So he's always got his rifle with him. And uh, there was a... Was the same rifle was there. And it said Sharp's rifle. Yeah. So it was really, really amazing to see it. Yeah, it At was least fun to spot, so yeah. to spot it there. Yeah. No idea why it was there at Durham Park. Do you know? No, I think they, they, they just told because 
the rifle was out of a collection of the house okay. and they just gave it for the filming ah, okay. so that they can use an authentic weapon. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because if you see pictures of Jean Ben, he always has this gun or this rifle. <laughs> yeah. So now I've shown you all, my, all of my favorites. Now it's your turn again, Kirsten. I think that's the last one. No. No? No, 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 no. That one? No, that's too much. That was by accident, actually. Although I really love that. Okay. Um, this one is called The Importance of Being Earnest. The, film, the adaptation of Oscar Wilde's comedy. Yeah. Which is amazing. It, um, it's about two bachelors who create alter egos named Ernest to escape their boring lives. And then these two guys fall in love with, with women who say that they can only love guys named Ernest. Yeah. So it's very, very funny. And it's again with Colin Firth and Rupert Everett, who I have to say, um, I love Rupert Everett's voice so, so much. I could listen to him all day yeah. and yeah. It also has Judy Dench in the film. It's amazing. No, we film. love this so the much. The movie's really good. Yeah. And I just recommend read the play because yeah. The language used and the play with the language Oscar Wilde did is just amazing. Love Oscar Wilde. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to, really, I recommend reading the play. And you were, this, you know, that's actually German, but we always watched it in English. Yes. This is another um, Jane Austen yeah. ad film adaptation. We have to end somewhere and we said, this is Sense and Sensibility, or in German, Sinn und Sinnlichkeit, yeah. which I watched again two days ago with Emma Thompson, Hugh Grant, Kate Winslet. And we said, because especially, it's especially me who has so, so many favourite films, um, we will put everything else down below in the description yeah. box in case you haven't watched the films or series and are looking for some inspiration, maybe. Yeah. 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 And you know what I just found? Yeah. And if you don't want to watch the films or the movies. Yeah. Except for Downton Abbey. All of these things, oh, what we showed you, are based on books. Yes. Hornblower is based on the books of C.S. Forrester. Yeah. Uh, Jeeves and Wooster is based on P.G. Woodhouse's books. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar Wilde, Jane, Jane Austen. Austen. So if you don't want to watch the films, get the books. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Suffrage isn't based on a no, book. No, no. But most of them, you are right, are based actually on books. based on books. So, yeah, if you want to find some new books, yeah. do check them out as well. If you well. don't like watching the movies, get the books. Absolutely. Yeah. And these are our favorites and yeah. yeah we hope you like some of them yeah we ho really hope you like some of them and let us know what you think or share some of of yours in the in the comment section and at the moment like on tv we are watching um belgravia yeah and you know what what i don't want to forget that one this, what we just finished a couple of weeks ago, was Julian Fellows' The English Game yes. on Netflix, which is amazing. Yeah, it's about the early days of football in England. Yeah, absolutely yeah. amazing. And even if you don't like football, the plot is really good. Yeah. It's really, it shows something about the time. Like, if I compare this the ITV series Bill Gravia to The English Game, I prefer the English game. Yeah. So, so, so beautifully done. So. Although the graveyard gets better, series by series. That's true. Yeah. That's really true. The plot gets better and yes. better. It gets more interesting yes. by the minute. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. So we'll watch it this evening. Yeah. Is it Sunday today? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. But you know what? I actually... So many people say that they totally get 
confused with the days because of lockdown. Yeah. No, I don't because I'm having home office. So tomorrow morning is Monday and I have to go to work. Yeah. Even if it's only upstairs in the attic. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we hope you like this video. And as always, please take care and stay safe. We are all in this together. And, well, we try to stay as positive as possible. And, yeah, what do you say? Yeah, stay safe. And breathing. Stay positive. Stay positive and we'll see you again very soon. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.